Hey y'all, and we're back again from the couch. I just thought I'd give a little overview of what happened on the trip to Daytona because I wasn't there too long. Uh, I had left out uh, Friday night on the 3rd and didn't get around to around St. Augustine until about 8 in the morning. I had some family that was staying in St. Augustine and I elected to sleep after after riding about you know eight hours down towards that way. So I slept for about five hours and then I headed out and originally I had, I had hauled out towards uh, I think it's Ted Morris Harley Davidson right there near Ormond Beach because uh, Joe Rader and a few other people I knew be set up at booths over there. Well, I cruised through. I had checked out Dan Kite's pinstriping booth there because I was going to get two things pinstriped on my tour pack, and uh, didn't didn't exactly line up with my time schedule. But I made sure to go by the Memphis Shades booth and see my friend Joe Rader, aka Dirty Motorcycle Vagabond. Y'all can look him up here on YouTube. He's a pretty good dude, and I shot the bull with him for a second. Talked about his journeys in Vietnam, which you can see on his YouTube channel. But uh, after that, my objective was to get down towards the Cabbage Patch and stay over there the night because the camping was pretty cheap. It ended up being only about $15. But the main reason I was going over there was to see my friend Aaron, who works at Randy's Cycle Shack. Now, I went over there, saw Aaron, and shot the bull with him for a while. And... After doing that, he informed me there was a guy that was pinstriping stuff, and he was set up in the booth right next to them. Uh, shout out to the guys at Pro Art. Uh, they did a really good job of uh, pinstriping my bike. But y'all see that on a video here just a little later. Uh, what I'm going to show here is just a short video of the camp that I did have. But... Um, it was the only video I took the whole trip because I was really trying to enjoy myself. It was a really short time period. Uh, so here towards the end of it, y'all will see a short video of uh, my camp that happened right there in the Cabbage Patch. And so after getting up in the morning the next day, on the 5th because I, I rode down there the night of the 3rd. I stayed the 4th in Daytona and got up on the 5th. Uh, I talked to the guys at Pro Art and got in there first thing in the morning and he did the pinstriping on the side of uh, both sides of my tour pack, the lettering that I wanted done. And then after that, I packed everything up, said goodbye to Aaron and my friends and rode out all the way back uh, up here to northeast georgia and that trip all in all all brakes included and everything only took eight hours to ride all the way from the cabbage patch up to northeast georgia and so in a period of about 45 hours we covered a distance of 1000 miles on the bagger and may i say that uh it was it was quite the trip uh, had a good time saw aaron and friends and uh with that we're going to roll the footage of the campsite. Hey, y'all, and we're down here in Daytona, and I'm just going to show y'all a short view of my camp down here. We're over near Cackleberry Campground here, and I'm just going to shoot this video and show y'all what's going on. So we got my bike right here little light fighter tent and tarp we actually got showers over that way the uh, church put on a thing so we got breakfast out here you can give a small donation get breakfast got a lot of cool stuff running around a lot of people but uh that's a like a soft tail twin cam that's done up to look like a survey car i thought that was a little weird but with that we're gonna be going on to the next thing uh I don't know how much other footage I'm going to get. I'm running on kind of a tight time schedule, so we'll see how it goes, all right?